So we got a little bit of a problem here. I got the weight on the tongue jack, which this camper does have a lot of tongue weight. But you can see right here, there's a gap forming there. And then right along the base of this tongue jack, you've got a gap there too. And trying to look here at the back, you can see how much this plate has bowed up. So I'm going to attempt to fix this. This could go horribly wrong. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Since I'm going to be welding on this, I disconnected the trailer from the truck. And now I need to support the tongue so I can remove the jack. So I got two four-ton jack stands on each side of the tongue. I'm just going to lower it down onto those so I can pull the tongue jack off. That should work. Now I just got to remove the propane tanks and everything so I can get more access here. So what I'm going to have to do is grind out all these welds so I can replace this plate. Part of the tongue jack is removed. And all I gotta do is just take these three bolts out and it should just come off. And I'm also disconnecting the negative lead from the battery. So now you might be able to see a lot better about how much this plate is bowed. You think I'd be prepared? <laughs> it's almost like we're doing this on a whim. Sweating. Yeah, it's actually hot out today because we're not camping. Or they're small welds. Oh. Do that yeah, I'm gonna put a new wheel on it.
it's not pretty, but I'll clean that up before I re-weld. Oh, then we're gonna have to paint. You gotta get it inspected first. Can't yeah. You can't proceed without QC. It's not very thick. No, definitely not thick enough. So this is the piece of plate that I'm gonna cut to replace this. So I'm gonna have to cut it lengthwise and then cut the angles top and bottom and then I'm gonna have to drill out a, a hole for it. You can see how much thicker this plate is versus what they put on there. Now I barely made it through high school, but someone with an engineering degree felt like this would work better than this. Rusty warped because they didn't even do full length wells. They just kind of stitched it at the ends and that was it. So, since we've been kind of downsizing, I sold a bunch of tools. Like I sold my cutting torch and my chop saw. <laughs> so that reduces me to using a sawzall to cut this plate. We're gonna try it anyway. And hopefully it doesn't cut my leg off. All right. I just stand up there. Kind of surprised. Uh, very vibrating. Ready? Okay, I need you to stand up. take some final fit and finish with the grinder, but... That worked way better than I was anticipating. <laughs> way better. It is about the same size. Let's go lay it on the tongue. Hell yeah. Looks good. That'll be beautiful once it's, it's over here. once it's welded up and painted. And way more strong, uh, trustworthy. <laughs> yeah. But now we just gotta drill the hole or the hole saw. But I have faith that the my little drill will do it. Yeah. If the saw saw could do that, the hole saw can do that. So I got a two and a quarter inch hole saw and I'm going to attempt to cut down through this plate. It's almost through. Should be using cutting oil, but.
here goes. Got it. We got some wood. This is going way easier than I thought it would. Hey, why'd you say that? <laughs> oh yeah, perfect. All right, just gotta drill three holes, which I already marked. Well done. Beautiful. Good job, Mikey. Okay, everything's drilled, cut, so now I'm gonna take the grinder and I'm just gonna clean up the areas on the tongue where I'm gonna weld on both sides. welds on it. I can pull this back out because there's a bracket underneath that this tube fits down into. So let's make sure everything is squared up before I start welding. Yeah, just put a couple tacks.
Alright, so I welded it all the way around. It may be overkill, but you know what? It's not going to bend. Alright, since it's all welded up, I'm going to do one last test fit, make sure nothing warped or got out of place. Cool. Make sure the bolts are long enough now that the yeah. now that the base metal is thicker. Oh yeah. Good? Yeah, that'll work. Sweet. Our little helpers. No, I'm not a welder by trade. <laughs> I'm the one with the welding degrees. But he does pretty good. Trust me, I've seen worse. Thanks. <laughs> no, that's a com compliment. Alright, I guess I'll hit it with some... Those look better now that I... This side was not my best, especially up here. But this side, I think I did the best on out of out of all of it. Definitely stronger than it was before. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, it's like that picture Mike posted the other day of trying to describe Ohio. This is what's coming towards us. And that's what's behind us. So we decided to upgrade to grade 8 bolts, 7 sixteenths, slightly bigger in diameter than what was in there, this junk. So we're just going to drill this out so these will fit. Maybe we did have to record that. Some pliers. That's always something. Take two. Sound of that. Yeah. Sunshine. Storm clouds.
Frost Protective Enamel. For all your frame repair needs. Yeah, it looks better painted. Yeah, it does. Looks pretty good. Better than factory by far. It's not perfect. It's definitely better. It's definitely way better. Alright, well the can says to wait uh, five to nine hours. We waited a good five minutes. No, it's been like 20 minutes. <laughs> but as you can hear, rains are coming and we don't want to wait. It is just starting to sprinkle a little. So we're gonna try to do this and get it done. Woof, come here, come in, let's go in the house. Almost. All right, so the rain has mostly subsided. Probably screwed up my paint. Probably. There's our big uh, flood puddle. So, in hindsight, this nut here in the front, I should have welded to the bottom of this plate. <laughs> but I managed to get the washer, the lock washer, and the nut on there from underneath, but it's a real pain in the ass. So I'm gonna try and tighten it up. Try. That's tight. Right now, we can put it all back together and try it out. Sounds good. It's a moment of truth. Getting close now. We're off the jack stands. Woohoo! Yeah, I see that. I was gonna say, it should be pretty close. There's no bending at all. None. There's no separation. It's solid. I'm shaking it. So I guess next we'll back the truck up, drop it on the ball, and I'm gonna try and lift as much as I can with the, you know, the back of the truck. See if it holds. I'm pretty confident it's gonna hold. Yeah. Okay, we're all hooked up. Now I'm gonna raise up the tongue and try and lift a lot of weight in the back of the truck to make sure it's not gonna bend or break. We're reaching the end. <laughs> Man, it's so nose high. Yeah. And you know what? It's not flexing in the least bit. I 
I call that a win. Yeah, that looks good. I mean, before, just the weight of the tongue was making it bend. Now it's nothing. Mission accomplished. Yep. Okay, so on Facebook, Greg Griffith asked if we were relocating the tongue jack so we could open the tailgate. It could open before. We didn't have to. Let me let this down. Sorry, Greg, you should have bought a ram. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it still opens. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, we have successfully voided the warranty on our frame. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, but it's better than what they did at the factory. 